Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I wanted to do a little happy mail today. I got the sweetest card from one of my friends today. Kim, I absolutely love it. This is precious. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome card. It's so beautiful and so thoughtful of you to think of me. And the sentiment that you wrote inside, or the note that you wrote inside, is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so very much. You have totally made my week. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I also have some happy mail in the form of a Etsy purchase. <laughs> so let's see what's inside, shall we? I've been ordering a little bit lately because that's just kind of what I do sometimes, as you guys know. <clears throat> and I'm wondering if since you guys like my hauls, if I should use these as a tax deduction. What do you think? <laughs> <clears throat> This smells really good, so this has got to be, oh, thank you from my soap company. This is so nice. Um, I have ordered from her before. I have done hauls on her before. I have said she's as good as Lush, only better because she's less expensive. And boy, oh boy, <clears throat> I really can't get enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. I... <clears throat> normally try to take a, sh a bath once a week uh, sometimes it's a little more sometimes it's not an, as much I don't know how to get into it and uh, whenever I take a bath anymore it used to be a little you know fun thing like this was a treat now it's almost a necessity I've gotten so I love taking baths with my lush bombs um, but these are non-lush, lush bombs. And I know that my son <clears throat> plays rugby, and I know that my husband has muscle. You know, he works hard and all of that. So, she always throws in a little freebie, which is so nice. Um, I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to get some that I can share. But I'm, I'm honestly, even these ones that are kind of more or these ones that are kind of more for my son and husband, I if they stay around too long, I will use them. This one is called Muscle Rescue, and it smells really good. Oh, my goodness. And this one is called Relaxation. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that smells like, but it is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. They both smell very earthy. Like, um, neither one of them smell medicine-y. And I was a little bit nervous about that with the Muscle Rescue one, but neither one of them smell medicine-y at all. They smell really good. And then I bought a little one that's cake batter ice cream. Oh my gosh, that smells like cake batter. And then I can also pick up some ice cream. Oh my gosh, I don't know how she did that. But that smells really, really good. <clears throat> And this last one is called Love Spell Scent Sample. So um, it looks like it's about half of a, it's a little smaller than a half of one of these. Yeah, you can see on this that it's a little smaller. But I think that just this would be enough to give you a nice fuzz in your bath. Oh man, that smells good. Gosh, what are the notes in there? I'm not good at describing a sense that I'm not familiar with, but this is very, it smells a little sweet, but it smells a little more, um, I guess, herbal. Like, um, have you ever gone to any of those, like, uh, like an herbal store? Like, uh, my daughter is a vegetarian, so she likes to go in to, like, not necessarily a vegetarian store, that sounds silly, but... Like almost like a boho, maybe it's incense-y, I don't know. But it, this reminds me of, there's a place in town called North Star, and this reminds me of that smell. It's clean and nice, um, maybe a little herbal. I don't smell patchouli, but that's what I think of when I think of smells like this. I don't really smell patchouli, that's not one of my favorite scents, but it smells really good. This is nice. 
and those are very nice. And this, it's like really light. It is watermelon lemonade whipped sugar scrub. So it looks like, you know, it's, it's looks like whipped topping or frosting. And the last time I ordered, or maybe the time before, I was given a little sample of this. I am not kidding. I wanted to eat my own arm off. Because when you use this, it smells so, so good. And it is, just like it says, whipped sugar scrub. So there's like little bits of sugar in there. And when you rub it on your skin, it feels so good. And um, if you like have a, not a sunburn, but you know like the after sun tingle? Oh my gosh. Come in from an after sun tingle, take your bath, rub this on your arms. Oh my word, it feels so, so good. Or your legs. And my arms have a little bit of bumps on them. I don't know what it's called, but as I've gotten older, they've gotten less and less. But my skin is just not the smoothest or the softest. And, you know, I have like little, I don't know if I rub my skin right now. It's like I rub some women's skin and it's so soft. It feels so good. But like if I rub mine, I can feel like sometimes like a little bump. Like there's a little bump right there. And it's not, it's not like a pimple or I don't know. It's like, um, I don't know what it is. I know that the... Doc, the dermatologist said that it was caused by bacteria, which sounds kind of nasty. But when I use a scrub like this with a washcloth, it takes away the bumps, which is awesome. Now they come back in a day. I mean, it's not like it's a permanent solution. But if I used this consistently and daily and spent a million dollars, I'm sure I could get it to be a lot better. But I'm not that concerned about it. So I use it whenever I take a bath, but I don't use it all the time. So... I'm hoping that this will last me a couple or three months. Uh, I do have a cotton candy one that I'm using now, and I've already used up the sample that she gave me. And the cotton candy one is great, too. But this one, oh, my word. This is definitely going in my favorites because it is amazing. Okay, so that is my haul for today. I just wanted to say... Thank you to my soap company and show you guys a little bit of a goodie bag I got today. <laughs> well, have a great day. I hope that you guys are doing well and check out this company on Etsy. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. I think that, I think these were all five for $16. So, so a little more than $3 a piece. I think that's right. And this one was even less than that. And I don't even want to tell you because I don't know how much this was, but it's worth it, whatever the price. So there you go. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.